explain you the academic activities that happens in university. Now, I will take you a tour around our facilities. First, I'd like to show you a few classrooms of ours. How we teach. Please get into the classroom. Now you have seen the classroom. Normally every Saturday we call experts in subjects from various industries, research organizations and conduct special lectures for our master students. So this is a seminar hall in which master students from automotive engineering and mechanical engineering are listening to a guest lecture. As you've seen in the classrooms, first we teach the students in classroom and next step is taking the students to simulation facilities. We give a lot of importance for simulation here. We can see how we simulate by making digital models of any system. While doing your course, you will be trained on many industry standard software simulation tools. You can see the list of tools that we have and these are all the software loaded on system. And people will train you on these tools so you can see there mechanical and manufacturing engineering and computer science engineering electrical and electronic engineering for art and design students, management and commerce. So most of the problem you simulate on this, your understanding gets enhanced. I think almost one third of post-graduation, you have to invest on learning simulation tools and solving learning real life problems. This is basically for postgraduate students, so they carry out simulation. Students belonging to electronic stream This is our aerodynamics laboratory. You can find both subsonic wind tunnel and supersonic wind tunnel. Here most of the aerodynamics students who study turbo machinery design and aircraft design use this laboratory. Also automotive students for their vehicle aerodynamic testing use this laboratory. This is basically survey laboratory, mostly meant for UG students. However, a lot of our PG students working in smart city projects also use this laboratory. You can find very modern survey equipments. Probably, these equipments will not be found in many of the places. Irrespective of whatever masters program you do in mechanical engineering, manufacturing engineering, and automotive engineering, material science, and material testing is very important. So we have metallography laboratory, it's more of material testing laboratory. When we do the machinery design program, Kinematics dynamics of machinery is very important. We do the simulation using Adam's tool, but here we have the real mechanisms on which we conduct experiment. We have very advanced vibration testing facility. This is a very basic facility. This is metrology facility. Again, all mechanical, automotive, aeronautic require some kind of measurement. We have very interesting equipment, CMM. Coordinate measuring machine and other such kind of facility which are rare in other institutions and even optical projector. As I was telling you, we do have very interesting electrical engineering course in masters. One is electrical machinery design which you don't find in any part of the country and other is sensors and control system in department of electrical engineering, AC and DC machine laboratory, also power electronic laboratory.
have a look at how we give practice for simulation in all sessions which are going on for the simulation. Generally, you can find very rarely the scanning electron microscope, chemical vapor deposition, physical vapors deposition, furnace with 1800 degrees Celsius. Such research facility is really rare. Uh, this is a scanning electron microscope. Uh, it's basically a, a coaxium uh, EM30 uh, electron scanning electron microscope, uh, which is a Korean make. Uh, it has got a magnification of up to 1 lakh and uh, it has got a capacity of uh, uh, EDAX, that is energy disperse, uh, dispersive X-ray diffraction, uh, with which we can study the, uh, I can say, uh, composition uh, analysis of the component. Actually, this is uh, a furnace which can go up to 1800 degrees centigrade and it has the capacity of having five gas appliances. So we can use it for ceramic sintering as well as if we are doing any heat treatment of the material or we can also use it for melting of metals. So that is the purpose of having this furnace. Uh, this is actually a chemical vapor deposition system where we coat the substance using the chemical vapors. So the substrate will be kept inside the system and then we pass the gas or liquid and the substrate reacts with the reagent which is in the gaseous form and uh, we get the coating of the substance. If you are asking about placement, as we say, we are seized as much as possible. Something if you say like so, these companies come once in a while, they recruit out people. Other than that, you can see a lot of companies, they work with students to get jobs. One of the most complex subjects is control systems engineering. So we have a full-fledged control systems laboratory and various applications here. And right from developing simple feedback system to how to use control system in automotive application, aerospace application and manufacturing. seen the classrooms, seminar halls, some of the laboratories. Now these are some advanced laboratories. Here we have equipment which make a lot of noise and heavy. These kind of stuff you can see in these laboratories. Okay, this is our engine test facility. We have a diesel petrol engine. Both are uh, taken from a running car. And we have all the measurement uh, instrumentation put onto the engine mm. and uh, a student can run the engine under different operating conditions and uh, figure out how is the performance of the engine at different point of time. Okay. This is one of them. This is uh, another uh, such engine and we also have uh, a single cylinder engine for uh, testing purpose. This is basically a four cylinder engine test facility where uh, individual cylinder performance we can uh, study in detail. Okay, this is basically a, a running car. A V6 uh, engine is mounted on this. And the students will have a hands-on experience on various systems of the car. Uh, this side we have uh, all the components of uh, various automotive systems. We have a diesel engine which is dismantled. This is a Ford Icon engine and all other components. This is where the students will get a first-hand experience of dealing with the components, their assembly, and all that stuff.
uh, we have uh, civil engineering lab facilities here these are the different facilities to do their experiments and uh, basically for uh, cement and concrete uh, test facility we have a concrete uh, mixing facility where students can uh, make their sample blocks for uh, different size sieves used in uh, civil engineering applications is laboratory used for uh, electrical engineering students uh, we have a impulse generator where we can generate up to 11000 volts using high voltage uh, we can um, see the impulse currents that are happening Hi everyone this is Prashant James from uh, Sanitation Engineering and Waste Management and uh, this is an MTech course in uh, RUAS so about the course well it is a new one but then uh, it is uh, indeed very intriguing very interesting and uh, I'm a second year student here and I've enjoyed every bit of it so far and this college has given me a lot of opportunities to go uh, I mean to explore uh the different ways of learning and uh it's completely changed my mind my perspective about learning itself and education itself how it happens in the world so you know we uh we are always striving to be on par with the uh, other universities around the world and uh you know i can see that we have uh, potential to do that and you know we can strive hard for that and definitely this college has given us a good opportunity to do that thank you